If at first you don't succeed, try again. And then if you don't succeed that time, break everything. I got to keep trying. What's what's the what's the use if I don't keep trying? That's all I can do is 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 try. I also bought a new webcam, so Bear with me if this shit doesn't work. Last night I plugged it in, it wasn't really working at first. I'm still trying to adjust the settings too because right now I got kind of a, a wide screen going on. I kind of want to go back to uh, kind of the display it was before. The wide screen can be cool if I had some shit in the background besides GTA posters, but I'm not sure yet. If I do get some stuff to put in the background, like maybe I should put something on those closet doors or something. I don't know. All I'm saying is, this might cut out. So if there is certain parts in this video where you don't see my hideous, disgusting, mole rat of a face, then I apologize. Let's go. Let's begin a new VR run. I need to turn my volume down. This probably couldn't have happened at a better time. This round? David Peralta, I am still trying to decide if I should get him in rank seasons. So this is probably an obvious pick. He has better all around power than McCovey. McCovey has 116 and only 79 versus lefties. I'm taking Peralta. Let's go. That's not even a bad pick. It's just that. Always don't remember if it was Forsyth who fucked up that one run. And he stinks against righties, man. Stinks. Capital S T. I mean, I don't know. Change up. I guess whatever. Inside edge is amazing. I don't want to take somebody who's only decent against lefties. Brandon Geyer. Greg Garcia. Wow, this round is brutal. This is a waste. Whoever I take right now will be on the bench, most likely. Holy fuck, that round is brutal. All right, whatever. There's always some brutal rounds. Okay, here we go. Billy Wagner. Aguilar again. I had him in the last run, wasn't it? I don't know if it was the last one or the one before that, but Aguilar is a machine. Billy Wagner is an amazing lefty. I don't know, man. His break is only 88. That's kind of low, but... You can find lefties and shit. This might be alright. I'd rather get the bronze rounds over with because usually when they end up last is when I find the fucking... The draft stinks. Might be a speed option off the bench right now. So I need somebody in right and center. Alright, Trevor Story seems to be amazing in this game. He has speed. He has amazing power. I find even against righties he's not even that bad. Let's go, Story. Time to carry this, the, 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 the team. 68 hits per nine. Man, oh man. Do I want to waste? I'm taking Grandal, actually. Fuck that. I'm not wasting that. I need somebody behind the dish. I fuck. Of course. The third diamond that shows up is a starter. Drew Storen is actually amazing. He has a sinker as well. Jesus, man. This could be... Ah, uh, fuck. You know what? His per nines aren't even that impressive. I'll take Moose. Oh, yep. See? Dude, this Chad Qualls has pretty much the same per nines, and he also has a sinker. Holy fuck. If I'm making good decisions in BR, let's try to make this at least... Oh, Shreve. I had Shreve last time. He's not bad for only a 60, what, 8? That's not bad at all. Get these stupid common rounds over with. I'm kind of liking what I'm seeing right now. Oh, wait, maybe not. I can't do it. I can't pick... Alamar, I can't pick Molitor because those guys aren't doing shit. There is no chance in hell that Alamar or Molitor are getting on base unless they get plunked in the head. 37, 32 power, 40, 47. Like, no way. Absolutely not are they doing anything. So that's a waste. That's a waste if I took them. What do I need? John Green, rookie card. That's... When, I don't even know when half these cards are in the game. Steven, vote. I, this is just one of those rounds where it's like you either pick somebody with better stats versus righties or lefties and then just pray to the heavens that they end up facing that side. 
I may just take Foresight because at least he has all right contact. Fuck it. Don't fuck up this time. This is a very good round from what I'm seeing. Wait, can Forsyth play center? We might be alright. This is this is going to be a risk. The outfield defensively might be a little bit of an issue, but this might work offensively. Peralta can play center. He has 73 fielding and mediocre speed, but Forsyth can't play center. So he can play either left or right, and then Chris Davis can play left. Or yeah, left, obviously. Might be an obvious pick. This might be the most obvious pick I've ever seen. Chris Davis, he's had an amazing inside edge pretty much every day that I've noticed. Holy shit, look at all the players with inside edges. Moustakis, plus 14, Davis plus 13, Story plus 9, Grandal plus 6. Hampson's plus 9, but that doesn't do anything. Please, Jesus, only Jesus, holy shit, his team looks amazing. He has Josh Harrison, Corey Seager, Pujol Stanton. Soto, Michael Taylor, Moreland, and oh, Bo Taylor. Man, the first, actually, besides, actually, I don't know. First thing is first. A little bouncer. That's a foul don't let the leadoff man on. It's hard to only totally know what I'm even going up against right now because this guy's record was 1-0, and so it's like, is he amazing? Is he just picking up the game for the first time ever? That's a nice pitch, but this play... Alright. Man, those weak dribblers. I have faith in Chad Qualls right now. I'm not going to walk him. It seems like everybody walks Immortals in BR if they don't have somebody on base. Fuck it. Nice. Nice pitch. Nice pitch! He can still get the job done in his hometown. That is shattered! Peralta leads off the game with a moonshot! He done? Okay. Wow. This guy has Eddie leading off. That is not what I want to see. Donaldson, Schimpf. Man. Eddie leading off, of course. I'm probably going up against somebody who's amazing. His banner is the 12 0 banner. Oh no, I don't like my chances already. Alright. Eddie is staying alive. He seems to be early on most pitches. Nice! Nice changeup! Man, Eddie was flying! No! No, 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 no. No! Nice sinker. He swung at that, he's probably doing nothing with it. I would assume. Nice pitch! Chad, calls, buddy! Peralta, same thing. Same thing! That's two hard hit balls! Damn it, Moose! Oh my fuck, what the hell was that? Doesn't Conforto always have pretty much an amazing inside end versus right? Or am I thinking of somebody else? Wow, that was, wow. That was kind of an effective pitch, believe it or not. That's probably the best sinker I've ever thrown in my life. Wow. All right, well, Chad Qualls is already dealing. I don't want to have to go to the bottom of the third. This is, this is, this is it. Popped him up. Uh, that makes me just want to throw up. Everywhere. Get down! It is! Come on, Story! He has good speed! I need you at three! Oh, I slid the wrong way. Oh, he's still safe. Who's on deck? Isn't it? Oh, no. Oh, God. Run it out! Fuck! Man, I might leave Chad. Actually, I can't now, but if it was... Whatever. Now a ball hit hard toward first. And this is going to find some real estate out there. 
as he comes through off the bench with extra bases. This is this is not looking good. Eddie's up now. I had to walk Eddie. So that'll set up the double play possibility with There's no way I could have pitched him in that Oh man. Swing and a drive to right. There it goes. Strikes in his first at bat. There's a drive high in the air and deep to the center field. Gone into the liver. Here's the first pitch. Who the fuck cares? Just end it! Well, at least David Peralta has a fucking chance in hell of doing something. His team. Swing and there it goes. He got all of this one. It's too late. I'm going to eat!